is stand by. The psychedelic rocks and seven-year-old Carl Sievers. Rocks. It just stands for radio-operated combat system. It has a 12-volt motor for the main drive system and also extra motors to drive the lift. Three, two, one. So here comes the father and son team. Looks as if it's going backwards. This is the correct direction driven by 44-year-old Colin, but it's a wide robot at 77 centimetres and always in danger here of being squeezed in the ram rig against the circular source. They need to time the, the spurt to safety just right, and I think they have, although Sergeant Bass now comes in with the flaming torch, the circular source. And look at that, kill a lot and dead metal. They're all ganging up on this near side. Can they get it onto the flaming pit? Flipped up by Killalot. Oh, dear, immobilised. Young Carl. Well, how do you think that box went for you, then? Not too good, really. We uh, we didn't do as well as we expected. A little bit bashed. Come here, young man. Come here. How old are you? Seven. You're seven. Oh, what were you doing? Working the forklift. Working the forklift. Are you enjoying Rope Wars so far? Yeah. Do you think you're going to make the next round? Yeah. Yeah. Well, your dad's not so sure. <laughs> we hope you make it, though. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rocks team. Very, very popular, the Rocks team, of course. 8.8 .8 metres. Just wonder if that'll be enough. How'd you go on, Dad? Well, not too good, really. We've got a bit of a bashing. A um, few repairs, I would think. See what we do. See Dad, what the rest do. What else has happened? Quite a bit of damage, really, isn't there? <laughs> Do you think you're through to the next round? Yeah. I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Roboteers, stand by. Limpet next up with John Denny and John Freeman. Inside the unit, we have two 24-volt wheelchair motors, driven by a wheelchair power motor, and two batteries, two 12-volt batteries parallel to give us 24 volts. Three, two, one, activate. So Kilolot awaits at the end of the central route in the gauntlet. Limpet, 28 centimetres high, 75 centimetres wide, 100 centimetres long, takes on the ramp and takes on Kilolot. Well, this, oh, takes on Kilolot, crushed by Kilolot. He's on top, on board. A loaf of bread there on the back of Limpid, I saw. They stuck some sort of bagel or baguette on the back there, haven't they? Yes! Well, they want the prestige and they want the dough from Robot Wars! And one of the tracks is simply snapped! Oh, that's punishing and painful! The Limpid team, join the podium, John Denny and John Freeman. Um, how do you feel about that? You should get a piggyback. Just a killer lot for a start. Well, yeah, we've got to give him a hand along, you know, it's sort of uh, not very fast and that. Uh, <laughs> but we'd help him along. <laughs> you almost made the end zone, but... Uh, yeah, we were looking forward to some toast, actually, but we didn't get that far. <laughs> you took your tracks off as well, didn't you? Right, yeah, it's a bit of a repair job there, I think. Have you got any spare tracks? Uh, good weld will sort it, no problem. Will he? Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the limpet team! <laughs> Cheers, guys. Stuck in there like a limpet. Sticking in there. 10.8 metres. They're through. Rocks look suspect. Look what naughty Sir Killalot did. Yeah, yeah. it's got plan B. You know, we sort of put some more links in or change the design a bit to uh, confuse everybody. You can do that. Well, if we get through, we can do that. <laughs> if not, we'll go home. Robot ears, stand by. The last in the heat, kilohertz. Powered by two 1200 watt Bosch industrial motors. The main weapon is a large axe. Powered, pneumatically powered by a large cylinder developing about 800 kilograms of force, which does this. Three, two, one, activate. Powerful and quick with John Reed, Dominic Parkinson, and Rebecca Reeston Brown, and a good surge, but it's taking on the center. Oh, well, well timed! Off the line by Dead Metal, but did they cross the line? Come on, judges, I'm sure they were through! Dead Metal, push them back, and Dead Metal hurt, they're in the pit, look at the damage they've caused! But did they do enough there? This is controversial! 
What happened there? <laughs> it went wrong. We could start for that heavy house robot at the end. Dead metal got older, but I think at one stage you didn't make it into the end zone, did you not? I hope so, I hope so. Yeah, Maybe we made it. It's a very fast robot, isn't it? Yeah, I was hoping to demonstrate its speed. It is quite fast, yeah. OK, well, you've probably done enough to get into the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Galaxy. Very speedy robot. It's going nowhere in the pit, though, is it? Craig, the judges say they didn't complete, but 10.6 metres enough. Rocks and young Carl, out. We might be back. Here. Come on, then. We'll go and have a drink and a sulk. <laughs> so how's fixing going on Olympic? We're a bit short on time. You haven't fixed that chain yet, have you? No, no. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got one. We're all limp home. <laughs> the weapons aren't actually not activated. Not actually activated yet, no. <laughs> They're not working. They're not working Next yet. round. <laughs> I'm trying to make them as fireproof as possible. You sure it's not just silver sticky back plastic? Oh no, this is uh, this is plywood behind there covered in aluminium tape. So it'd be enough to keep the flames off for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> one robot down, one more to go in the trials. You see, it's time for us to bowl you over with our next challenge. Just your average game of Skittles. But on Robot Wars, the bowling balls are bionic, and the Skittles are industrial-sized barrels, and the only spares are the body parts needed afterwards. Now, all our contestants have to do is knock down as many barrels as possible in the time allowed. The robot that knocks down the fewest barrels is kicked out of the contest. It's all about wanton destruction, and we love it. Let the trials begin. Robot ears, stand by. Roadblock, first up. Three, two, one, activate. Here come the champions. Attacking the Skittles head on. The house robots can't go into that triangle exclusion zone. They want to go in there for safety. Like that, you see. They can do. And roadblocks shovel at the front, creating damage and mayhem. Oh, look at the barrels tumbling here. It's a great run by the defending champions. They nearly obliterated the whole of the Skittles triangle. Get out of there, killer lot. Great run by the champions. Come on to the podium. Well, you've got to be happy with that, surely. Not too bad, but uh, not, as, not as well as we'd hoped. Uh, we just hope that's enough to get us into the arena. We're looking forward to some fights. Ladies and gentlemen, roadblock! Well, let's see how many barrels were knocked down. 34 sets the benchmark. Will that be enough? Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Here comes Onslaught. That wedge, suitable for Skittles, if they can get away from Sergeant Bash. Young David Wood, who loves design and technology, needs to get in there, burrowing away with the barrels. He loves his basketball, he loves driving remote control cars, and that's good steering and good pace and good damage. Yeah, to Tremendous stuff here by the Onslaught team. Using its 76 kilos as well. To push those barrels down. Bash comes in for revenge. And dead metal, but I think they may have done enough. Well, you sorted out your grip problems for the first round, didn't you? Oh, a little bit. It seems a lot better at the moment. It's still twitching away, mind you. I'll have to find out what's gone wrong there. That was an awesome performance. Yeah, good. Excellent. You're obviously through to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. The onslaught team. I should say, tremendous performance by onslaught. 57 barrels. Robot ears, stand by. Boys from Ireland, oh, with patched up nemesis. Three, two, one, activate. Nemesis, what a pathetic and sorry sight. What great competitors, nudging, nosing, nemesis. The spikes, the prongs, the lobster claws. All coming into effect here, though. The saw blade at the back of the robot. Bash tries a little lick of flame, but too far away, says Nemesis. Peter Redmond, John Kinnan, Joe Gavin and William Murphy, the teammates. Spinning. Not creating that much destruction by spinning. But look at the barrels down! In come the St. Box ambulance men. Nemesis! Go to the platform! Come the lads. How are we giving our best shot? We weren't really designed well for pushing over barrels, but 
Well, you seemed to take a few of them out, though, didn't you? Well, we pushed a few of them out of the ring, but we didn't knock them over. And you're on fire again now? Still on fire. Still on fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nemesis, give them a round of applause. Well done. Broiled and toasted, ripped apart, and 38 barrels is enough. Look at Roadblock now.